Hello BitBiters, welcome to Retro Recipes. In our recent video, we went on an incredible journey together, hoping to recover footage from this Amiga 4000 that was used on the movie set of Apollo 13. Check it out after this video if you missed it. And although we didn't find Apollo 13, we did go from the farthest reaches of space to the depths of the ocean. But what we found didn't give us a sinking feeling. Whoa. What is this? We're gonna find it. It's f***ing Titanic! Oh, sh is this a model? Yeah. This is from Titanic, dude. Wow. This is crazy. <laughs> this is the PVR from Titanic when they did the motion control passes. I thought it was gonna be from Apollo 13. Okay, this is very, very even way cooler than I thought it was. Just incredible. It still hasn't sunk in. Will it play that? Yes, it will. Oh my god. <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> Titanic. And in this ever-evolving situation, I've just been contacted by Michael Karp, who is the mastermind behind those motion control systems on Apollo 13, Titanic, and True Lies. Here's our actual Amiga on the set of that film. And now here in this video, by popular demand, I'm presenting, again under the fair use law, the raw test footage video files straight from that Amiga's PAR card for historical and educational purposes, so they can be preserved for future generations to enjoy. As you watch the footage, just keep in mind, although it may look like they're repeating the same shot a few times, look more closely and you'll realize they're actually trying different things on the set. Some of these are, you know, obviously yeah. they're trying things out. It's kind of a fascinating insight into how they made Titanic. Also keep in mind, it wasn't shot in amazing quality because it was filmed through the viewfinder of the real film camera, just so they could quickly review what the film camera was capturing on the set. I should also mention that none of these projects or rescues would be possible without my Patreons or without PCB Way. Just as the Amiga 4000 was the Rolls Royce of Commodores, PCB Way make the Rolls Royce of circuit boards. And as we all know, PCBWay stands for Perifractix Commodore Boats Wet. Ah oh, yes, doesn't it? Well, that's all from me, your friendly anchor. <clears throat> Sorry. And now I'll leave you to sit back and enjoy this little journey back in time into movie history and to half a league under the sea. After all, only Amiga makes it possible.
and that my friends is all we found filling up three quarters of that one gigabyte hard disk. I'll be back soon with more retro fun and games. Until then, subscribe below. I'll never let go. But cheerio.